Notion is an amazing tool, but it gets even better with the right upgrades. I have been using Notion for more than six years and I've built systems for thousands of people. So naturally, I've collected a few favorites over the years. And in this video, I want to share with you 14 awesome tools that make Notion even better. So let's dive in. Kicking things off with number one, Spark Mail. Spark is just hands down a really great email client that happens to integrate quite nicely with Notion. With just a few clicks, you can save any email to your Notion system. So for example, here I have this email from well, myself and I can click on the three dots or I could use shortcuts to do this, go to save to and then select Notion here. And then I can uh, you know, add a few information if I wanted to, otherwise I just hit save. And then over in Notion, in a second, you see you are the best popping up here. I can open it up, I have all the context from it, right? So the actual uh, information from it, I can open it in Spark, right? I have a deep link and the rest of the meta information. So pretty easy way, right, to get your emails into Notion. Of course, there are also more robust ways, right? Uh, more advanced ones that also pull uh, over things in databases beyond that. And if you're curious about the tutorial there, I have a link for you down below in the description. Number two, Morgan. Morgan is my go-to calendar recommendation for anyone who can't use Notion Calendar. That will mostly be the case because you use Outlook, right? As you know, Notion Calendar works with Google Calendars and also since a recent update started working with Apple. But if you're in the Outlook system, you're still out of luck. Morgan, however, is a really, really great alternative because not only do they allow you to connect pretty much any calendar software, but on the other side, you can also connect a lot of task sources, for example, Todoist or Notion. And then you have the same effect of being able to pull your Notion database entries into your calendar, right? Overlay everything, schedule it in one convenient interface, and then check things off. So perfect if you are a time blocking fan. Number three is Rose. Rose is the perfect Notion sidekick if you need some spreadsheet superpowers. Because as you hopefully know, Notion has databases, not spreadsheets. And that means some things they can do a lot better than Excel. Other things, particularly when it comes to certain math operations, well, not so good. Well, enter rows. Rows allows you to connect to Notion. So you can take any Notion database and sync it in real time into your spreadsheet, which means whenever any change happens in Notion in your database, that will automatically be also updated in that spreadsheet. And then you can do well, everything that a spreadsheet is good for. For example, one of the things that you can't do in Notion, right, is to create a pivot table. You can, of course, do something with charts, right? So here in this example, we have max sales, and then we can see we can have a, a graphic representation uh, that tells me kind of the same information as if I were to create a pivot table. But of course, it's not a true one. With rows, you can do that fairly easily, right? I have my synced Notion data here. This is the pivot table based off it. I could now customize it. And most importantly, I can go ahead and I can start sharing this, right? So I can say, okay, please embed this. I can copy the embed URL. I can head back to Notion. I can paste it in here, embed this. And now I have um, a pivot table of my Notion data, right? Living right next to my actual information. And since this is updated in real time, whenever we make any changes over here, right? If new orders come in, our pivot table would also update. Number four on our list is Whisperflow, one of my favorite recent tool finds. Now I already included Whisper in my recent video about my favorite AI tool, the personal tech stack that I use over there. But it's so great and works so well with Notion that I have to have it here as well. Basically, it's dictation software, but in really, really good. And it plugs into any tool that you use. So of course, it works also in Notion. All I need to do is hold down the hotkey and then the transcription starts. It will automatically, you know, whatever I talk through, figure it out and then turn it into text on the page. Even better, if I make any mistakes, right? If the way I speak, if I accidentally say London instead of Moscow also, and I correct myself mid-sentence, it will also take that into account and clean it already up. It's absolutely amazing, right? And I can't imagine working without it. Number five, Tally. Tally is another one of my all time favorites. It's basically the best form builder out there. If you don't have one in your company yet, well, I definitely recommend you check them out. And even if you have a different one, they are probably better and a lot more affordable. Basically, it's a Notion style form editor that you can use to create forms and you can then sync them directly with Notion. They are also a lot more advanced than the basic Notion forms feature. 
So personally, for a lot of flows in my company, I still use Tally because Tally supports things like conditional logic or uh, UTM parameters, things that are kind of hard to do in Notion Forms. So personally, my split here is if I need something quick and simple, I use Notion Forms. And if I need something more advanced, something that really gets the job done, it's Tally all the way. I actually have a video with a bunch of my favorite Tally use cases, also linked down below in the description. Number six is super.so. If you need to turn something in Notion into a website and you don't want to have it look just like a plain Notion page, then Super is your best friend. It's basically a website builder that takes your content in Notion and turns it into a better looking web page. I recommend Super whenever someone asks me how they can add password protection to their Notion. Because with basic Notion publishing, you can't do that, right? Of course, you can invite someone with their Notion account and then they have to log into Notion with a password, but it's not quite the same as if you share certain content with them and you require them right to log into that specific page. For that, Super is really amazing. But keep in mind that it's best for static pages. So it's not for client portals. For client portals, I have another recommendation later on. Number seven, Circleback. By now, you might have noticed a pattern. A lot of the tools that I talk about do kind of the same thing that you can already do with Notion, but just better, right? For example, Super allows you to publish pages with a bit more uh, options than just basic Notion pages. Or with Tally, you can build more robust fonts. Now, Circleback slots right in that list because it's really, really good meeting notes. The basic Notion meeting notes feature is great and it's really useful if you're getting started. But particular if you have your whole company operating system in Notion and you track tasks, meetings, and all the other things that happen in terms of business intelligence, then Circleback is unbeatable because it's really, really good at extracting the action items from your meetings and then sending them as specific database entries to Notion, right? So you can make sure that after your conversation, meeting notes and the individual tasks pop up in the respective databases without you having to do anything. Number eight are QR codes for Notion. Now, this is a fun one that I actually built myself. I got into white coding a while ago and I started creating these Notion mini tools. And one of my favorites is this QR code generator because it solves a problem that I often have. Whenever I give a presentation or a talk and I want to include a nice little QR code at the end, you know, as a CTA for people to sign up to my amazing Notion newsletter, I need to go through all these weird pages and try to find a good looking one. Now it's much easier. You can go in here. It's completely free. You can you know, enter whatever URL you want. You can pick any of the Notion colors, right? This is uh, the same color that Notion uses. So if you embed it in your Notion workspace, it will look really, really good. And you can even switch between light or dark mode. Then you can download it and copy it and have just a functional, simple QR code for free. Number nine are two more tools that are really useful if you do anything around Notion or Notion Consulting. These two are also a result of my white coding sessions. And maybe they're helpful for you. The ROI calculator might come in particularly handy if you try to pitch Notion to your boss, but have a hard time putting sort of into real numbers what the benefit of it might be. Here, you simply put in, you know, your uh, company. So for example, MF Consulting and say, we have 43 people and you'll get a number on the potential cost saving based on some conservative estimates of how much time a better system might save you across knowledge, project, and meeting management. You can play around with this, right? Tell me that you're really, really good at knowledge management, but rather poor with project and meeting management, and through that, right, get to your final number, download a report, and send it to your boss. And of course, if you afterwards need help implementing knowledge at your company, well, you know who to call and who to talk to. I'm happy to help you there. And to just touch briefly on the other one, the contract generator, if you are a Notion consultant yourself or you hire a different consultant and need a contract, right? you can use this to generate something based on my best practice template. You just fill in the information, add the scope, write your financial terms, some legal details, and you can copy this contract as markdown, add it to you know, Google Docs or Notion and quickly have it assigned. Of course, not legal advice. Make sure that you talk to a lawyer before that, but as an information and inspiration, this should do a pretty good job. Number 10, soft R. Back to slightly more elaborate software again with this one. Now, I often get questions about client portals, 
or how you can share, you know, a part of your Notion uh, database or set up securely. And there's a lot of wrong and outright dangerous information on YouTube. There's pretty much no way to do this natively in Notion right now. What you need is a workaround that either involves syncing one database to another one. I have a tutorial for that below in the description. Or to use a third party tool like Softar to build a front end on top of your Notion data. Softar is amazing for this. And I have a few videos where I walk you through building anything from uh, you know, a public roadmap all the way to fully fledged client portals with task management. So check them out if that's something that you're curious about. Number 11 helps you spruce up your Notion pages. I'm talking about Indify. This one is kind of a trip down memory lane because when I first started using Notion, Indify was the coolest thing. Basically, it's a widget website that allows you to create fun little widgets and embed them in Notion. There are a bunch of them out there, but this is still, you know, my go-to one just because it holds a fond place in my heart. You get a bunch of useful ones for free. For example, counters, countdowns, and clocks, right? You pretty much see that in any beautiful Notion setup a screenshot on Reddit nowadays. So if I just want a quick one, right, I can have my clock default in here, continue. I have a few setup options that I can choose from. And then with just one click, right, you can uh, embed this in here, right? This is the flip clock, but I could also go for an analog one with my uh, numbers or these like nice minimal ones, right? They also sometimes add new ones. Uh, you have, again, like limited customization options, but it does the job if you want to spruce up your setup a little bit. Number 12, Atio. Another question that I get very often is, should I use Notion as a CRM? And the answer always is, well, it depends. It depends on your specific needs. If you need a lightweight CRM with basic functionality, you can definitely build it in Notion. But if you need something more robust, right, if you have a whole sales team and need more advanced go-to-market features, well, then probably something like Atio is your best pick. And I love it in combination with Notion because it shows the strength of Notion in a company very, very well. Basically, you can get started with Notion for pretty much any function in the company. And as your company grows, you might reach a point where for certain functions, you need specialized software. In this case, Atio is an amazing CRM tool. The good news is that you can then very easily sync your existing Notion data through automations to that other tool. And still after your setup, make sure that the core business intelligence flows back, right? Leadership can still see in Notion, okay, these are the number of deals that we have, or this is, you know, how much are we perform here, but the team can start working in Atio. Plus, Atio looks and feels a lot like Notion, and you really notice from the way that the team pushes updates that they really, really care about the user experience. So another tool that I really love, and that fits in perfectly into your Notion ecosystem setup. Number 13 is another shared spot for Make, Relay, and M8N. If you want to take your Notion setup to the next level, you will need automations. They make things so much more powerful. My favorite softwares for that are currently Make, N8N, and Relay. And if you're just starting out with the world of automations, I would recommend actually Relay app because they're very simple to get started with. I will link to a few tutorials using Relay or Make down below in the video description and also to this recent blog article that I wrote about a few ways to automate your business with using Notion and Relay. And now for number 14, AI. I actually nearly didn't include Claude and ChatGPT, but they definitely belong on this list. Because did you know that you can actually use them to control your Notion? You can create tasks, set up whole databases, and even have it schedule your week for you. Here's a short tutorial on how to use that. Just click here and I will see you in a few seconds.